Uh, moving on, let's talk about luck real quick. Um, luck is uh, attached to your luck uh, special. Uh, it's the last one in there. Um, your luck points are equal to uh, the amount of luck that you have. Uh, so let's say you have four luck, you're going to have four luck points. Uh, so what can luck points be used for? Uh, the first one and the most often one we do is misfortune, which allows us to re-roll a uh, 1d20 or three combat dice per luck point spent. So oftentimes people will want to do a roll, they've already rolled it, and they're like, ah, this doesn't make any sense. Oh, I am really good at repair and, and uh, you know intelligence, and so I had a difficulty zero test, I got a success and a 20, I want to re-roll the 20 spend a luck point they can do that most of the time they get a success from that um, sometimes they don't but uh that's the most often when we see uh we've had a luck of the draw which is essentially spending a luck point to add a detail to a scene uh that was during uh when you all were about to leave for O'Nallens. i think clark added a detail to the scene where he left he made signal make doggy bags of Meyer lurk jerky for everyone yeah um, C- clark has used luck of the draw several times Mm -hmm. and it's worked to our advantage most of the time just most of the time it has additional detail and it's kind of like you know you're not going to be able to with that like from uh, and other people may feel differently but like oh i'm going to add a detail to a scene this isn't like um going into the settings and fallout and spawning in like a death claw into (laughs) like your casual conversation with thing like this is like oh um i am unarmed at this point and i didn't expect to be can i have some sort of like makeshift weapon in the corner so that i can have a pistol um to fire like and it's like okay yeah there's a a a 38 like just is there there. a knife on the table yeah that kind of stuff um i think those are those are pretty easy for a look at the draw Next is a uh, stacked deck, which uh, has you use your luck attribute for a skill test. I don't think that we often use a uh, stacked deck. Yeah, um, de- depending on how your character is made, a stacked deck might not be used at all because the, the goal is you would need a, a special that's lower than your luck. And I think my luck right now is like a six. Yeah, and probably my lowest stat might be like charisma, which might be like a four or five or something like that. So, I mean, to spend a luck point, uh, to spend a point of luck to increase my chance of success by ten percent. Um, honestly, I would probably be better off using that point of luck to reroll the die instead. Uh, there are statistics that go into this. This is not the stats cast; it is the rule cast. But if you want to talk math one day, let me know. But in a lot of situations, unless you have a mass, like if you've got 10 luck, it might be worth it. But using the misfortune to re-roll one of your D20s could potentially be better. Now, if you're rolling a ton of dice, if you're rolling like 5D20, it might be good to use stack deck. If you're rolling 2D20, you're probably better off with a re-roll. That's just me sort of estimating the math. And like from from a perspective of like what like a rule for luck. So there's been some I think the most recent one, uh, survival plus luck. I've been doing a few of those. Essentially, if they're like in Star Wars, uh, a lot of like filmmakers have talked about like what is the force from like a not from a lore perspective, but from like a story perspective. Like what is like the you know the push pull. Like, I'm going to choke you with the force, that kind of stuff. And essentially, it's a plot device. So it's like that like kind of like fifth element to a scene where you, like somebody is in like how powerful they are is dependent on like how much they need something. It's kind of like this like secret ingredient, I guess, uh, to a lot of stuff. And so that's what I often see luck as. It's like, OK, if there is something that like is important to the story, but also like a little bit intangible, um, kind of like there's like a little it's not necessarily magic but like a little bit of a like twinge to it i think that's where i typically tend to put luck a lot of the time because there's like rolling a luck skill in a dice based game can be it's a little meta. silly sometimes yeah it, that's pretty meta <laughs> uh so one of the characters that i introduce uh in the episodes coming out this week so i i don't know what it'll be compared to this rules cast but they have an ability that I tied to luck because 
it is somewhat magical, and none of the special stats really make sense for magic except for luck. You just kind of have it. Yeah. And, you know, D&D, so wizards learn theirs, and sorcerer, the powers in the blood, and bards, they learn theirs through charisma, and sorcerers through charisma, and, you know, all these other things. Like, there's so many different ways to learn magic, and none of these really felt right for what I was, you know, trying to do with this character. So I use luck. Because, like, it just, it this is random that I have it. Why would it not be random that it works or doesn't work? I think that makes sense. I think I think that's a for us. That's like where where it ended up on. Um, I think that's it for our basics. So uh, I think the next thing that we're going to get into is uh, combat. 